Hi students, the topic that we're looking at in this video is describe something you bought that was difficult to use at first. Say what it was, when and why you bought it, why it was difficult to use and explain how you manage the situation. So here's my sample answer. There have been several occasions when I bought something and then encountered problems while using it. One such product which gave me some teething trouble was a pair of roller skates. I think I bought them about 10 or 12 years back when I was in high school. I was always very fascinated by roller skates. I dreamt of gliding gracefully on them like some of my neighborhood friends who owned them. I badly wanted to have my own pair and I used to keep pestering my parents. Finally, they gave in to my request. My mother took me to the large sports store in town and she bought me my very first pair of roller skates. I was thrilled to pieces. They looked very much like normal black shoes, but they had wheels underneath, two in front and two at the back. And the most attractive feature was that the wheels would light up when the skates moved. As soon as we reached home, I excitedly put on my roller skates, I laced them. When I stood up, I was unsteady and wobbly. My body began swaying back and forth. I lost my balance and crashed headlong on the floor. My first experience with my roller skates was a total disaster. My legs and arms hurt, but more than that, my ego was bruised seeing my siblings smirking. But I was not to be discouraged. Clinging on to the rails in my room, I tried to stand up again. After much practicing over the next few days, I learned to balance myself. And I also began taking a few small steps. Of course, I stumbled and fell many times in the process. By regular practice, I mastered the technique and my roller skates now give me hours and hours of fun, thrill and adventure. So though the product gave me some initial hiccups, I managed to sail through it. Now let's look at some points for the discussion part. What type of products are difficult to use at first? It's very important for ease of use and simplicity in products. But there are a lot of complicated products which are very difficult to use, such as electronic devices, kitchen appliances, tools, or maybe a software. It may be because the instructions are not clearly given in the user's manual, or the design is not user friendly, or maybe there are too many steps involved which makes it confusing and hard to remember. What are the benefits of online shopping? The primary benefit is convenience. We can sit in the comfort of our home and buy whatever we want within minutes. We get better deals. Also, we get a much wider variety and choices. What are the disadvantages of online shopping? There are cases of frauds, Online payments may not be much secure. Credit card details may get stolen. We may not get the product we ordered for. Sometimes there may be too much of a delay. Also, we cannot touch, feel or try the product. And traditional shopping is much more fun because it's an outing for family and friends. People meet each other, interact. But online shopping does not give us that fun element. Why do some people buy only branded items? Well, they give a sense of status and social acceptance. Also, maybe because people associate brands with quality, they feel a branded product is much more reliable and dependable. That's all in this video. We'll be back soon with another video. Till then, goodbye. Subscribe and click on the bell icon for more updates.